Big noise is the classic exciting excitement signal to use for our real-time analysts, a real-time analyzer, right? So on smart, it's almost a source-independent test. As long as you've got some kind of an exciting signal that's got full bandwidth information, all smart's doing is comparing the output of the sound box to the signal at the microphone. So you can do smart with music. That's right. Um, and it, it works time. quite well if you've got music that's got broadband, full band. That sounds like fake noise. That sounds like fake <laughs> noise. In terms of usable results, the kind of thing that actually make, helps you make decisions about a room, do you find it more useful to work from a it's, it's, It really doesn't matter. These are, the signals doesn't matter. That, these are the signals that these particular software want to see. Okay, this, These ETF type programs are looking at swept signs because that's how they work. Pink noise would not work with these programs. Um, there's a, I mean, smart, you can look at a bunch of different types of signals with smart. Uh, when it does the impulse response, it prefers to look at a SWEP sign. Yeah, it can Rip. do it can same do swipes, things. Yeah. The original TEF, I believe, was using SWEP sign waves. Yeah. So and that, and that, so that sort of became traditional. Like classic, like Melissa, those sort of things, they use bursts of like... Melissa uses an MLS <laughs> signal, which is something else. Yeah. yeah. Maximum a, length sequence is what MLS stands for, so... It is actually a, a pink noise that is, uh, or it sounds like pink noise, but if you listen to it a long time, you'll hear that it actually repeats. It goes, zhoo, 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 zhoo. you hear these things in the MLS signal. Or you can just hire Lars to come over. And he makes go. <laughs> <laughs> but what you, what you will find is that all these are pretty, pretty. You know, they'll correlate well with each yeah, other. You, exactly. you do your, your yeah, transfer you function with smart, and then you look at fuzz measure or teft or I don't know how some of these other ones, you know, I have seen programs that are out to lunch. Absolutely. They're not all good. I, so the be ones careful I mentioned those. I know are good. So. <laughs> well, these three, I, I'm, I'm comfortable using any of these three because I've seen them respond to each other plus or minus a half a dB here or there. And I concur 100%. So, you know, some of these other things, I, I keep getting these things emailed to me with these free software packages trying to get me into some chat group or something. And, and I plug it in and I try it and it looks nothing like anything that I'm measuring with any of these other softwares. So 